Welcome to Saxon's Algebra 1 half, the second edition, lesson 74. And this lesson is on rules for addition of integers or signed numbers. So, <clears throat> lesson 73, we kind of started this, and um, you had um, visualizing on a number line signed numbers. But um, in this lesson, I'm going to tell you there's a couple of different ways. Um, that we can add positive and negative numbers. So we can do one of two things. Basically, we can either add from left to right, which is the way your book is teaching you in this lesson, or we can add all the positives together, then add all the negatives together and subtract. Then the sign, the answer will take the sign of the highest number. All right, so the first example says add these signed numbers from left to right. The first thing we would do when doing this is put everything in its own um, symbol of inclusion with the sign that comes in front of it. So all of these positive signs um, are going to be included in the parentheses. Okay, so Going from left to right, we have negative 4 plus positive 3 would give us a negative 1. And then going from left to right, a negative 1 plus a negative 5 would give us a negative 6. And then going from left to right to final, negative 6 plus positive 7 would give us a positive 1. Okay, personally I find that way a little bit confusing. Here's some rules I found for you. Not really rules, but these are um, visuals of the rules. And I included multiplication and division rules also. But look at the addition. When you have both an addition, addition sign, your answer is always going to be addition. If you have, in adding integers, if you have a negative and a negative, you're adding those two together, and the answer will be a negative. If the signs are different, if the signs are different, you've got a positive and a negative, or a positive here and a negative here. In this case right here, the higher number is positive, the larger number. See, we've got that, that positive sign is larger. Either way, when you are adding a positive and negative, what you're really doing is subtraction. Think of it as adding the opposite of that number. So we can change that subtraction sign to an addition sign and change the sign of the second number and follow the, the regular addition rules, okay? Um, <clears throat> so a positive and a negative, in this case, would give you a positive outcome because the positive number was larger. In this case, the negative, you're still subtracting, but the answer, whatever it is, will take a negative sign. All right, so <clears throat> this is basically how I showed you in the first video. Um, step one, put everything together with the signs that belong to it. But the step three tells you um, another way to do this. And you don't necessarily have to make a chart, but in the beginning, if it helps you to make a chart, put all the positive numbers in one column and all the negatives in another and add each one. So here, 12 plus 16 plus 3 equals 31. And here, 9 plus 19 plus 11 plus 7 is a total of 46. Well, when I add those two, what I'm really doing is subtracting because I've got one of each sign. So I would take the larger one, 46, and the smaller one, 31, my answer would be negative 15 because 46 was negative. All right, so let's try this. We'll have the positive and the negative. All right, here's a 4, 3, 2, 6, looks like a 3, doesn't it? And 5. All right, total of 
goes up. 3 plus 5 is 8. 4 plus 6 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Alright, so <clears throat> 12 minus 8 is 4. And because the 12 was negative, my answer is going to be negative 4. Alright, these first two practice problems we're going to do from adding by adding from left to right. So negative 4 plus negative 3, you got the same sign, so you're adding, would give us negative 7. And negative 7 plus 2, we have opposite signs, so we're saying 7 minus 2 is 5. And it takes the sign of the larger number, which is negative. And then finally, our final number says plus negative 5. So we're adding two negative numbers, same sign, we're adding, and that's going to be negative 10. Alright, in B, we have negative 8 and positive 13. So we're saying really 13 minus 8, and 13 minus 8 is 5. And because 13 was larger and it was positive, 5 is also positive. And then we have 5 plus negative 5. Now this 5 here is positive, so we've got one of each. Um, <clears throat> so what we're really saying is 5 minus 5, which is 0. And 0 plus negative 8 equals negative Eight. I'm sorry. In C and D, we're going to add by um, grouping the negatives together, positives together, and then adding. So on the positive side over here, we're going to have three and two, and on the negative side, we have eight. plus 9 is 17, plus 4 is 21. So we're going to say 21 minus 5 equals 16. And 21 was a negative number, so 16 is also going to be negative. So negative 16 is our answer. Alright, let's do the same thing with these two. We have on the negative side 5. Positive, 9 positive, another 5, and a 7. 8 plus 9 is 17. Oh, do that. 17. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 7 is 17. So what we actually have is 17 minus 17, which gives us a total of 0. Alright, good job. I'll see you tomorrow for lesson. 75